Hey friends, it's Neil here with Post to Post. Hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. I've got part two coming for you in this video of animated jersey concepts. That's concepts using the template that actually spins. It's animated. It's pretty dang cool. We did the version one, or I guess part one rather, of this where we looked at 10 concepts from the NHL from the actual creator of sports templates, Ali. And he's got 10 more for us today. You'll see the final 12. So all 32 NHL teams coming at you. Just over three videos, 10 now and 12 next video. So if you've not seen part one, definitely go give that a watch, but you don't have to, it doesn't have to be in order. You can watch this and then go watch part one. If you're new, would love your subscription. He's actually sent over just a little, you know, a little bit of a teaser. He's actually sent over other templates as well for skates, two goalie helmets, puck, uh, an arena. So we've got lots to look at and it's gonna be pretty fun. So we'd love to have you on board if you're new. Okay, let's jump in and let's see what, what he's got. Uh, let's bring up Boston first. Wow. Okay, so my, actually my first impression of the front, I, I, I see an anchor, and I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Now, Boston is a port city, and there's lots of shipping and stuff in Boston. So I'm not sure if that was exactly intentional or if that's just a replication or an element pulled from the actual B logo, one of the spoked pieces, and, uh, and you know, blown up or whatever. But either way, it's, it's very interesting. I don't necessarily think I like it. It feels a little bit out of place, but it's kind of a neat idea. Now, what he's done with the logo is just taken the B, which, you know, they've used on that alternate jersey and other things as well, and taken part of the spoke to B from the original logo and kind of thrown that in there. I don't mind that part. I think that actually looks pretty good. It almost looks like a, a, taped, a taped up hockey stick or something. Not bad. Shoulders are different than their current home shoulders, and he's got the logo up there on the shoulders too. So, yeah, I mean, pretty good start. Uh, next is Calgary. Oh, wow. Look at those arms. I really, really like the arms. It's striping, but it's also kind of not at the same time. It's in between like an actual, it feels like a design and stripes. So that combination and integration that he's gone through there on the arms is so well done. Very, very well done. Also, it, seems, it shares the same um, kind of graphic style as the left side of the logo that he's being, that's being used. Now in the first video, I, 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 I used the word minimal or minimalistic quite a bit. What I didn't realize is that the series is, that he's created is actually designed to be minimalism. Uh, there's a logo of that down below. I'm not sure if I'll include that in the video, but I'll at least adjust it so you can see it. Um, so this is the minimalistic series or minimalism series. And I didn't know that the first time I did the video for the record. But now it makes much more sense because all the logos are pretty minimal or minimalistic. So that's uh, replicated here with this one as well. So I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. So I don't necessarily love the logo compared to what is currently being used by Calgary, but it's not a bad logo at all. Um, I like this jersey, I, the arms are amazing. Okay, Chicago's next, let's see what Chicago's got. Wow, okay, so that I noticed the logo right away was almost like uh, very polygon, Poly polygonal, is that a word? Like. Nintendo 64 graphics. <laughs> That's kind of what it felt like. It's very sharp angles and stuff. And I mean, the rest of the jersey is pretty much exactly the same as their home jersey now. Shoulder patch is obviously different. But the logo itself, I actually kind of like the minimalistic look here of this one. It looks pretty good. I love the sharp angles and stuff. Uh, personal preference and realism, it's too small and it's too low. So when I look at jersey concepts, I do look for the right proportions and they, I would say, are incorrect on this one, both with the shoulder patch and with the logo. And someone actually commented that uh, recently on a video. Why do you care about the size of a shoulder patch? Uh, that you know, Sometimes you say it's too big, sometimes you say it's too small. Well, there's brand standards and design standards in the NHL, and there's sizing that exists for a reason. Um, I, there's, there's not like concrete rules, but there's general guidelines that you should follow. And the reason for that is if you're putting a logo on a shoulder or a patch or whatever, and it's too small, people can't see it. And it's just, it's, it's, it becomes insignificant. If it's too big, it becomes too distracting. It's not supposed to be distracting. So that's why every single, well, not every single, but the majority of shoulder patches that you see in the NHL or use on NHL jerseys typically are, ha are half the size of the actual shoulder and it sits right in the middle. Where this one is uh, not in the center, it's down further and it's quite small. So I don't think that necessarily meets the brand guidelines of the NHL. Um, so that's that's why I com comment on it. I When I look at concepts, I like to see things um, as realistic as possible. If you saw this come out on an NHL jersey, people would comment about that. Okay, Colorado. Ooh, interesting logo. 
I, I do like, uh, the, it looks great from the back. I was a little bit n not sold on the striping or design of the jersey from the front, but I think from the back it looks really good. I love how it raises up on the bottom there. The arms look really good from behind. I don't I don't really love the front middle of the jersey, um, but the, the back is, I would say, perfect actually. The neck is great. Uh, the logo is is pretty good, you know, for a minimalistic logo. It, it's it's very good. Maybe a little bit dark. I could have used some lighter blue in there instead of the burgundy just to make that logo pop a little bit. I find it uh, bleeds in a little bit too too much with the same color of the background. Uh, Florida. What's Florida got? Ooh, so you see those like whiskers or something on the front or claws, whatever that is on the uh, middle sides of the jersey on each side. The rest of the jersey is re relatively the same as what they use now. The shoulder patch that's being used, well, they don't actually use a shoulder patch on their jersey. They use um, a, basically an arm patch, and uh, they you put their numbers on their shoulders. So that's a big difference. We don't typically see this jersey with numbers on the, on the arms. And the other one is obviously the logo that's being used on the front, and that is his design. Very minimalistic. I mean, it looks looks pretty good. I don't think it's better than what they currently use, but it doesn't look bad. But generally, you know, this, this jersey looks quite similar to what they, what they use. Um, LA. Ooh, a white jersey. Wow, what is going on here? Okay, so the stripes on the arms, the way that they intersect and come down, it almost looks like, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the um, United States Air Force logo. It kind of looks like that a little bit, which I like, that's awesome. The striping down below is fine. Uh, the font being chosen is fine. Like the numbers look good. The C looks good. Shoulder patch looks looks good. Again, I would positionally I would I would change it, um, but it, it, I like the design on the shoulder. Now that is the primary logo as well. I don't necessarily love that. It looks like um, it looks like a burger. It looks like a Burger King like ad. The puck looks like a burger, and the crown looks like the, you know it just looks like a Burger King something to do with a Burger King. And uh, so that's a miss for me. I don't think I like the stripes coming in behind it as well. Uh, kind of makes it look like a slingshot. Like you're pulling back something and you're gonna fire a crown at someone or, or whatnot. So I would maybe remove the striping in the middle. Okay, um, Minnesota. Ho, oh, holy Wonder Woman. Did you guys see the logo there? That looks like the Wonder Woman logo. Actually, I need to confirm, maybe my memory's playing tricks on me. I'm gonna look that up uh, just to make sure because yeah, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure. That's, that is definitely very close to the Wonder Woman logo. Maybe not so much the middle, but the sides. It's nice. I mean, it's definitely very nice. Uh, I don't know if it's better than what they use now. I don't think so. The jersey is relatively the same uh, to their current design. What is next? Um, Nashville. Okay, sticking with the yellow. Wow, the arms look very good. I love the arms. Fantastic job on the arms. Love that more uh, introduction to blue in there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, number stylization is exactly the same as what they, they use, which is great. They have some of the best number kits in the, in the NHL. Now the logo, it feels almost stretched a little bit. Like the mouth is, is bigger. It kind of looks like a prairie dog neck and like head. It's almost too thin or something. And then like a, just a giant nose basically with a, I don't know, it looks like, uh, what's that Pokemon? Rattata? Rat Rattata? Rattata? What's his name? Yeah, it kind of looks like that Rattata dude. That Rat Rattata Pokemon. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, this is, I would say this is better than the, the current home jersey. Maybe people will disagree, and that's cool. That's that's what these videos are all about, subjectivity. Uh, but I think that's better. Let's go to St. Louis next. Ooh, look at the stripes in the, the front of the shoulders. That looked really good. Uh, the logo is definitely a little, a little more simple. The arms are great. Love the arms. Striping down at the bottom of the jersey is fine. Uh, I want to take a peek at the number kit real quick. So white on the arm and then yellow on the back of the jersey. Uh, I talked a little bit about that in the previous video where I said that sometimes uh, when you use different colored uh, numbers on the arms to the back, sometimes it can feel a little bit disconnected and stuff from a design perspective. But when you're using the exact same colors, just kind of inverted, usually it works, or at least half the time it works. And I think it does work here. I have no issue with that. Um, this is a nice jersey. I think it's maybe a little bit busy striping wise, but yeah, it's, it's a nice jersey. And the last one you have to look at here is the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, that is a, that is a nice logo. That is a very nice logo. Okay, so the rest of the jersey is essentially the same as what they use now. Um, so I'm not really gonna comment on that, but the logo, like look at it on the shoulders. Look how well that it pops off on the shoulders. That is awesome. And on the front of the jersey as well, that looks so good. 
That is, this is the perfect example of a minimalistic logo or a minimalism logo. It looks so, so good. So big fan of that. Um, this is not my favorite jersey of this of these 10 because I'm not really a fan of the jersey in general. I think they need to change it. But I would say that this is my favorite logo of all of them so far, or uh, these 10 rather. As for my favorite jersey of these ones, uh, there were some actually really nice ones in here. I think I might give it to, uh, I wanna go back to the Calgary one very quickly because this is a great combination of, of, of modern and also classic. Look at the, the shoulders, the neck, and the bottom middle of the jersey, classic. But look at the arms. That really bring, brings it up to the, to the kind of modern era. And it gives, you know, it gives shades of their alternate jersey as well. The Blasty 1.0 that's been changed into an alternate jersey. It's got some flames in there. So it's really kind of bridging some gaps here. I uh, don't love the logo, but uh, this is an awesome jersey. Um, I, I love the arms. The arms are, are, are fantastic. So I would say that Calgary is my favorite uh, jersey here for these 10. Now I want to show you some teasers, actually. I'm going to show you, uh, let me see, let me show you some... Uh, skates. So I've actually not seen these before. This is going to be a reaction video. The skate one's going to be a reaction video. So I'm just going to pick a, a team at random. I'm not going to do Anaheim because usually we'll look at Anaheim first. I'll do Winnipeg since uh, technically these should match the same theme. And I really like that logo. So I'm curious to see what the skate looks like. Bonus content. Uh oh, wrong screen. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Okay, now I'm really excited for this video, this, this skate video. Wow, that is an amazing skate. I'm so glad I picked Winnipeg. That looks, that looks very very good if you want to see that video make sure you hit the subscribe button that is coming once i get all the files okay now let's look at the arenas because he sent those in let's choose winnipeg again let's let's keep it consistent dang that looks good too oh that looks so good okay winnipeg maybe you should think about rebranding here to this logo that is awesome and then the other ones were let's look at the puck we'll also do winnipeg Mm, that that looks good too. So that's going to be a video. All these will be separate videos if you want to see them. And goalie mask. There's actually two goalie masks. There's a retro one, and then a proper one. Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the, yeah. Oof. That's a pretty. Uh, I would say that of all the Winnipeg concepts we just looked at, this is the worst just because it's so white. But the logo does look so good on there. And I'll quickly show you the retro one as well. And boom. Oh. Okay, that looks good. That looks so good. By the way, this template is free. I'm not sure if you guys knew that or not. So sportstemplates.net, uh, who created these these concepts and these templates, free. Well, this one's free. The one that you just saw, the animated jersey concept, is not free. However, it is 50% off, just like every single other template on the site, Black Friday sale, 50% off, Literally every template on the site has never been a better time to buy any templates. The best quality templates in the business, 50% off right now. And if you want something free, man, go grab this one. There are other free ones on the site as well. And outside of hockey, there are all kinds too. So big shout out to sportstemplates.net for having that sale in general, but also sending in these concept, concepts for me to review. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. That definitely helps the channel. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. But more importantly, let me know down below in the comment section, what was your favorite of the 10 that we looked at? Uh, I, there's, there, there was a lot of really good ones. So I'm very curious to see uh, what you guys say and what you guys think. Have a great Friday. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Adios.